the Little Miami School District faces a new challenge tonight. The state is clearing the way for the Miami Bluffs subdivision to leave Little Miami and become part of the King's local district. That would cost the Little Miami district dearly as it works to get out of fiscal emergency and state control of its finances. Miami Bluffs residents gave Nine News reporter Amy Wattis an earful about the decision tonight. She's live with what she heard. Amy? Yeah, Clyde, while the State Board of Education approved this transfer last night, this isn't over. Now the uh, ball is in Little Miami's court. They must decide whether they accept that transfer or appeal that decision in court, or the kids in the Miami Bluffs area are going to have to go to King's local schools. Linda Lindholm has lived in Miami Bluffs for nine years. She says she's happy to see the state make a decision on the property transfer. You know, we're going to have the best of two worlds. I think we're going to have, a, you know, we're going to see our, our property values increase again, um, maybe get to see this neighborhood finished out. But Little Miami School Superintendent Greg Power is very concerned for his district if Miami Bluffs becomes part of King's local schools. We felt like uh, it would do some serious financial damage to our district uh, should we lose that property in the form of about a million and a half dollars a year in tax revenue. About 550 properties in the neighborhood would be transferred. Those properties include about 70 to 100 kids. But now it's Little Miami's turn to make a decision. He's not sure whether the school board will go for the transfer or appeal the state's vote. They have taken the position all along that they are in opposition to the transfer of this territory. We are obviously still in fiscal emergency. We just moved here. Um, I'm still learning about everything that's been going on. And, um, you know, we're actually closer to the King's District. So in my mind, it makes sense for them to go. But she's happy with whatever Little Miami decides to do next. And, um, they're great people, and it says something for them, um, for the folks that stuck through it. While Linda Lindholm signed a petition last fall along with her neighbors to get the transfer going, she says either way, she's satisfied. I can make comparisons and see the, the differences. Um, and I think that um, our kids do not get a bad education here at all. And while Little Miami, once they're notified of the transfer, they have 15 days to appeal this decision in court or 30 days to actually resolve and transfer their students. Now, they plan on holding a board meeting Tuesday night. Amy Wattis, 9 News Live from Kings Mills. All right, thanks, Amy. And